This is Hari Om Watts from Space Education and Research Foundation. I welcome you all to this discussion on uh, the first experiment that the foundation is uh, sharing with you. And this experiment will demonstrate reflection, refraction, scattering, and absorption of light. This is a very simple experiment. Anyone can do it. And uh, it requires very, very little components that we have to do. So what we will do, I will uh, show you uh, the, the, the components that it requires. We will do the experiment. And after the experiment, we will discuss the implications of it. As I mentioned that this requires very uh, simple uh, things. Uh, it requires one uh, glass plate, plain glass plate. Size is not important, any size will do. But whatever size is the glass plate, you need to have a white paper of this, almost the same size. And you also need a black paper of the same size. So three things are required, plain glass plate, and white paper and black paper. Now we take the glass plate and see our face in the glass plate. We don't see the face in the glass plate. Now we put the uh, white paper under the glass plate and then see the face. In this case also, we don't see much of our face. Now, so in the plain glass plate, we have not seen the face. In the plate, if we put the white paper under that, then also we don't see the face. Now we take the glass plate and put black paper under this. And uh, in this case, when we look at, look for our image in the glass plate, we almost see it like a mirror. So this is the, the experiment that we had. Now we will discuss the implications, why this kind of things are happening. The first one that we will take is the case of plain glass plate, uh, where uh, we have, this is the plain glass plate shown here. And uh, the light uh, comes from this direction. This could be from our face or from any source of light. And when it comes to the glass plate, uh, there, uh, most of the light will pass through it. It's about 90% light will pass through it. And that we call as the refracted light. But this is not all the light. Some 10% light also get reflected with the laws of reflection from the surface of the glass plate. And if this 10% this light, clear light is available to us to see, then we will see our face almost clearly. But in this case, what happens is that this uh, uh, refracted light, the 90% refracted light that has passed through the glass plate will hit some object somewhere in the vicinity and will get scattered and reflected. And that will act as interference to this reflected light, the 10% reflected light that we have here on top. And also because the glass plate can pass the light from the other side as well. So that light also comes and so we don't see our face in this case. Now we go to the second case where we put the uh, white paper under the glass plate. This is the white paper shown by this white line and this blue line shows the glass, plain glass plate. In this case also, the incident light will fall here and will get divided into two parts. The 10% will get reflected in this direction and the 90% will pass through the glass plate. But as soon as it passes through, the 90% light passes through the refracted, uh, uh, passes through this glass plate, it will strike the white paper 
and white color reflects everything back. But because the surface accuracy of the white paper is very poor in comparison to the glass plate, it does not reflect in, in one simple direction, but it scatters and the 90% light gets scattered in different directions like this, which is shown by these arrows of various magnitude. So the 90% light from the white paper has come back and have scattered in this area. And this acts as the noise for this reflected light. So we don't see this fa our face in this case as well. Now, let us go to the third case where the black paper is put under the glass plate. And uh, this is shown here by this black line. This is the black paper put, and this is the gla plain glass plate. In this, when the incident light falls, it gets divided into two parts. One, the reflected part, about 10% will go in this direction. Uh, and the 90% light will, will get reflected, pass through the glass plate. But as soon as it passes through, it will strike the black paper and black, black color absorbs all the light. So all this 90% light, which has passed through the glass plate will be absorbed by this black uh, paper. And hence, there we, we see only this 10% good light, specular reflected light uh, from the glass plate. And in this 10% light, we clearly see uh, our image. Uh, we can see the face with reasonable detail. So this is basically the reason uh, for this uh, observation that we made, that when we put black paper under the uh, glass plate, it almost acts like a mirror and we see our face beautifully. I hope you have understood the experiment and you also have understood the reason behind it. And if, if you have any question, you may write a uh, question to uh, us on this address, director at ser.foundation. And if you uh, like, you may share this with others. You can share it in your own words and you can demonstrate to others yourself or you can share this video and they will see and they also will learn and do this experiment. You may also, uh, if you like, you may subscribe this channel because on this channel, we are planning to bring some more videos of simple experiments in the near future. And we may also do uh, shows as well on this channel. Thank you very much.